Hey friends, welcome back. Smore here bringing you some more 7 Days to Die. This is Alpha 15, and this is our last episode for this Alpha 15 season. It's the Day 49 Horde, so grab yourself something delicious, join me, and let's finish this. You heard me right, friends. Final episode of the series. And guys, it's kind of the first one I've really completed all the way through. And so I'm kind of sad about it. I mean, not as sad as I was about that dog totally wrecking my spikes that we put down. But a little sad. Um, we're plenty early. We have lots of time. I wanted to show you guys the loadout. As you can see, 549 plus what's loaded in the guns for the 762. Just a few crossbow bolts. I doubt we'll really need those. And then more than two stacks of shotgun shells and then some magnum rounds. I thought it might be nice to take what's left of the cash we have, work with the vendors, and let's see what else they have. Oh, one more thing. Did I forget something? I believe I did. Those. Now, I certainly wouldn't use those if this wasn't the last episode. I don't care what Thank happens to God, the landscape. The I thought you might be one of the dead. But since we're not too worried about the landscape, I think I'm okay with it. So the last thing that we're going to be looking for is basically ammo. I'm not exactly sure how much we'll need. So uh, there's always Shamway up the road. You can try looting. We sell only the best merchandise. So yeah, we're basically just going to look for some ammo and then we'll do a quick tour of the base and I'll kind of talk about how it went and some lessons learned. Uh, if you guys are interested in the base build overall, that's probably a good thing to um, to uh, sit through and listen to. All right, let's see. Any other ammo? No. Y'all come back now. If not, you guys can jump ahead a few minutes in the video, and I'm sure uh, four or five minutes ahead maybe, and then we will get to the uh, Day 49 Horde. Looking for something special? I am, but I don't know that you have it. I doubt we'll need any more of those, but that's okay. How is this receiver? Oh, 58? Probably not so much. I did notice that the game was updated to 15.1, um, and we're just playing uh, the basic Alpha 15 still. Good um, but just that. FYI for you guys, so you guys Put know, make sure to your update your game. Unless you'd like to die in my store. That seems a little metal. I'll be honest. I don't think I want to die in your store. Any comments or suggestions about what to do for the second half of Alpha 15? Let me know in the comment section below. Like I was saying in the last episode, we're going to be in Alpha 15 for a while yet. Certainly long enough to uh, do another series. Oh, this is the least amount of ammo that these guys well, have had you in a long time. your ass right out of my store? Okie dokie. So guys, this was the base. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the vanilla um, prison POI. We built ourselves massive farms that were just way too big. We didn't need farms that big. And eventually we decided on a greenhouse that doesn't really fit. It's actually much too large. Um, initially in my head I was envisioning something that had a flat top, but that has a flat top. We have lots of flat surfaces, so I thought something peaked might break it up a little bit. Plus it was nice to bring a little bit of color in the build too. And then I decided on this end for a faux shooting range. Um... I wish it had some practical purpose, but it doesn't. Um, it was fun to build, though, and I enjoyed it. So was the greenhouse. I really enjoyed that, too. You guys can see that we built a catwalk, a rampart that went all the way around, as well as really fortifying these walls. You'll also remember that I put the arrow slits in, and they're nice to repair and loot through, but we really didn't use them all that much. I think the Pillar 50 idea is still probably the best one. Now, I do have a base build in mind for the second playthrough in Alpha 15, but I'm going to keep that kind of under wraps for now. I don't want to give away all the surprises. Mm. Ah, 
we got the ramps installed finally so that way i don't have to run all the way through the house some things that i did want to do that i just didn't get to because we kind of ran out of time was taking up this whole floor uh bringing this up one more level the reinforced concrete bring it up one more block and then putting some trussing all the way through for more si and then installing a loft area up above with a more resplendent bedroom an easier way up to it and then a kitchen and a first aid station up there but again we just kind of ran out of time the lighting i think is pretty good i love the walls um and the build overall, I think it's my best build to date. It's certainly one of my biggest ones to date that I've done by myself. I don't know that we'll actually be tackling a bigger one in the second half of Alpha 15, but I do hope that I make it just as good. There we go. Excellent. Oh, good times, guys. Good times. Well, I think that's enough of the base wrap-up. Oh, you guys can see the blocks I hear that I did them differently on accident. The corners. That's irritating. It's going to drive me crazy for the next 45 minutes as we play. But, uh, yeah. So, I think we'll cut the video here. Let's make sure we top off because I am the worst at remembering to do that. Something to eat. Yeah, let's make sure we do this. Raise the wellness. Also remember to drink, of course. Oh, oh man, I just glitched away 20,000 dukes. You guys saw it. That's crazy. <laughs> and our, our simple, simple armory. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll bring you back at 10 o'clock, or probably just shortly before that. And I'm thinking right here is where we're going to want to be, so just guessing. We'll see. I'll be right back, guys. And we are back, folks. Called it. All right. Let's get busy. There we go. Also, so sorry about losing the Day 42 horde. I've got it recorded, but it won't upload to YouTube. It's actually super quiet. Um, and so I think we're going to take this down a bit just to kind of help with making sure that the voice isn't overpowered by game volume. Here we go. Oh, man. Look at all these guys. Holy hell. All right, here we go. Weird that that guy got kind of stuck. Don't forget too, guys, make sure you're looting the um, bioworkers. Get that military repair fiber. Repair that and get it uh, sold to the vendor. Oh, man. Not very good shooting there. Oof, or there. Well, we do have lots of ammo, so. Don't forget, too, guys, this is um, with me investing a whole bunch of points in better lead than dead. So all of these center of mass shots not really doing it. try something else shall we i feel like we have really relied on the ak which is good um huh the magnum is not one shot in the heads and that's a little worrying
But it is pretty accurate. I'm really appreciating that. So we, one got through. They'll die on the spikes. Let's make sure that we limit the other folks. There we go. This feels lighter than the last horde. I mean, I hope I don't regret those words, but you know what I mean? Like, okay, we've got a few more. The Magnum is enjoyable to shoot, and it's fairly accurate. I can see why people enjoy it. And I'm sure it would be a little more effective if I had taken the time to skill it up in pistols. And you guys will notice that we are constantly switching targets. We're doing that so maybe we can stun and get them off the spikes for a second. Um, all that adds up. Man, what I wouldn't give for like a Borderlands S Revolver or hell even a combat system that had all the perks and the variables. Okay. Oh, who didn't see that coming, huh? That's good. Oh, that's crazy. Did I get him? No. There we go. All right. He was distracting me, unfortunately. Let's try this one. I don't want to say it's too easy to no-scope with a sniper rifle, but um, it might be too easy to no-scope with a sniper rifle. Just saying. I think the Doom has really been helping, actually, like... <laughs> yeah, the Doom could actually really be helping a lot. Ah! No ref. Not the end of the game, I don't think. Um, a little irritating, though, for sure. That guy's like, okay, I lay down and take a nap now. So it was a lot of wood and even a decent amount of scrap iron to get this many spikes. But, I mean, wow. What a good job that they're doing. Especially if you can just kill them quickly enough without using the explosives to take out all the spikes. Like... All right, so it's after midnight. That's good. Oh, man. Learn to shoot, noob. Okay. Every now and then, got to make sure to not forget to keep an eye on the ammo count. That's for sure. See, and I wonder if we're going to get the harder Zambies um, just in time for... All the spikes to be broken out. Ah, there we go. Haven't seen any of the uh, feral zombies yet. That's good. Okay, it's very good. The crawlers we can work with, right? Because ah. the amount of the amount of damage the crawlers are going to do is so much slower, and then subsequently less than what the running ones can do. Ah, we shot him in the bum. 
There we go. They're just kind of falling away so far. Oh, man. Minus that terrible shooting. You know what I think is kind of funny too, guys, is the strategies that seem to work in this game, they are strategies that, uh, you know, per the Mel Brooks, or Max Brooks, <laughs> oh man, can you imagine if Mel Brooks wrote a zombie survival guide? <laughs> oh man, that'd be worth money. The strategies that seem to work here, though, are ones that per Max Brooks' zombie survival guide wouldn't work. Oh, did you see that guy running up into the thing? The thing, the building? Trying to be sneaky. Well, so far, so good. I'm definitely a little sad that the season will be ending. But, um... Like I was saying in the last episode, I'm gonna have some other things to focus on here in a little bit. And then I will be able to, you know, start over. Oh, man. See that guy duck and weave? All right. And there certainly is something about starting over, having next to nothing. And so my next goal for the next playthrough is going to be making everything count a little bit more. Everything from every shot, every swing. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I'm not even sure how long the playthrough is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to do modded or not. Lots to think about. Um, but I'll have some time. In the meantime, we're going to have more Doom dropping. I shot that guy in the nuts. Sorry, buddy. More Doom. Uh, we might even get some more Skyrim back. Um, the, those videos aren't the most popular, but, um, the games certainly are fun to play. Oof. It's too bad the gore piles don't seem to slow them down even more. Um, I know we talked about shifting around a little bit, so that's what we'll do here, guys. The spikes uh, against the wall certainly seem to be doing a lot better this time. A lot less kills on them. Which really is reinforced to me that the amount of resources that we spent um, building all these spikes really should have just went into the um, sacrificial spikes that are getting all the kills now. And then uh, we could um, just kill everything that's up against the wall. Oh, those are slugs. Okay, well, we can work with that. Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job of chewing up this one section of the wall, that's for sure. I hope this isn't doing more damage to the spikes than they are to the, to the zombies. Because I know this is just hell on gore blocks. But it is kind of fun to watch everything go flying up into the air. Okay, looking good. Now that we have this big gaping hole through our defenses. See, I remember in the older alphas how with the sighted sight down the sight down the shotgun, you could snipe them from this far away. I kind of miss it. And then I did see a bunch of wood chips fly, so this probably does do 
quite a bit of damage against our own defense. But last night, not too worried about it. I'm definitely still keeping an eye on... Ooh, yeah, see, now we're starting to get... Oh, that sucked. Okay, well... Now we don't have to worry about the spikes. Okay, we're gonna retreat a little. Is this the... Is this the tool I want for the job? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, though that slowing debuff is pretty nice. Let's get the light back on for everybody. On switch. Switch weapons, dang you. There we go. Excellent. Three o'clock. Boy, I do not like being down here at all. It's kind of creepy. So guys, I guess this is it. You just throw down four layers of four layers of the barbed wire fences, and you just shoot them in the face. But more accurately than I am sometimes. Make sure to be more accurate. Oh, not very good shot. I hope those are just crawlers. On the end. There we go. Still plenty of ammo. Let's see how this works here. Okay. Pretty good so far, I'd say. There we go. Okay, that does feel pretty good. It's obviously wasteful, guys. I can't suggest you uh, doing that unless you've got a very healthy bullet factory set up at your base, but it does feel really good, and it is a lot of fun. And again, lots of loot going to waste, guys. Um, don't do that on your playthroughs. <laughs> Going through lots of ammo, as you can see. Come on. Four o'clock, guys. Well, we did it. So everything that we have now is just stuff that we uh, will have spawned in during the night time. Man, those army guys are tough. Anybody else to finish off? Let's uh, finish this all the way. Crawlers or anything? Do we 
see any movement in the grass. All right, there we go. Well, guys, we did it. We made it to day 49. That was the goal. And we're taking all the trap damage in the world. So, guys, we did it. We didn't die. Um, way overbuilt POI naturally, right? Like there's any other way to do it in this game. Learned a lot about building. Learned a lot about, um, you know, fighting off the hordes and how to do it efficiently. You can do it for as little resources as possible. Grand Spartans, again, got some good designs about that. Um, or you can do a huge, overly elaborate prefab like this one. Um, I hope you guys, I hope the, the series has helped you play better, fight better, better builds. What are all those guys doing out there? It looks like we're getting a wandering horde right away. That's kind of odd. But yeah, I think we're going to call this series done. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the series. I know I did. If you did, please leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. You guys know what to do. I'm kind of sad, though, that we're finished. Uh, let's see. So, secret words. Let me know that you made it all the way through uh, Rocket Launcher because, holy cow, this thing was fun. Wasn't even kneeling and we got that sneak attack. Awesome. Well, all right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the other uh, games that I play again. Make sure to check out Doom and uh, eventually Skyrim 2. Probably focus on Skyrim after we finish Doom. I've been focusing quite a bit on Seven Days to Die. And, uh, yeah, I've, if not those, I will see you for Alpha 15 Round 2. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching Like on and share and subscribe for more.